Now, Left Step in the Discord has a con comment that I think deserves some attention. Uh-oh, you're in trouble, Left Step. <laughs> no. Left Step says, I cannot wrap my head around field charging. You're using one battery pack to charge another. Electronics class failed. I see your point. There is an argument to be made that rather than bringing one big battery and charging little batteries from the big battery, why not just bring more little batteries? But the reason for that is that the little flight packs have to be high C. They're like 100 C, 120 C. They're way more expensive per milliamp hour than getting like a big 20 C, 10,000 milliamp hour success or something. So in terms of dollars per gram of weight per milliamp hour of capacity, you can come out ahead by buying one less expensive big 10,000 milliamp hour 5S or 6S or something. But if you have all the money in the world, just buy a bunch of flight packs and just bring more flight packs. Absolutely. All righty. <clears throat> Oh my God, Bubby said, Bubby, I hope you're joking. Bubby says, I have a dual charger and I charge at 15 amps per battery. Woof, that's a lot. Now you have to be very careful with things like this. This was shared by B-Man FPV in the Discord. You have to be very careful because this is listed as 60,000 milliamp hours. But the right way to compare these is not in milliamp hours, it's in watt hours. Because that is probably a 1S battery. It's a single cell. So the watt hours, the way you do it is you take the number of cells times 3.7 volts times the milliamp hours. So that is a 222,000 milliwatt hour, because we had milliamp hours. So we'll divide by 1,000. That is a 222-watt-hour battery pack. Now, for perspective, that's approximately equal to 10 typical 5-inch flight packs, which are usually around 22-watt-hours. So that's not nothing. That's not nothing. But if you see 60,000 milliamp hours and you think, well, I could fill up 60 1,000 milliamp hour successes, you're leaving out the voltage. Okay. Uh, it's not Sam suggests that it may not actually be a lipo, that it may be a lithium iron phosphate battery, in which case it's 3.7 or 3.2 volts, not 3.7 volts. Valid. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Ha ha. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? 222 watt hours. Look, I was right. Don't you love it when I'm right? I do. Boom, 222 watt hours. So it's a lithium ion battery, ion battery 3.7 volts nominal. So at least they're honest and they share the watt hours. Some advertisers just say 60,000 milliamp hours and they don't tell you the voltage and they don't tell you the watt hours and they're essentially hoping that you don't notice and they're trying to take advantage of you. All right. So this is, I mean, that might be good, but before you compare that to a 10,000 milliamp hour 6S that you just bought from Hobby King or something, do the math on the watt hours. Lithium iron phosphate are pretty freaking cool, but expensive. 